match. Here we go. Koki, you want to start us off? Very positive hand-given right there, showing his tenacity already. Here we go. In his coach, who actually uh, is uh, being viewed as professor coach of uh, the Chinese team, Wu Jinping. And uh, this, according to Wu himself, will be Fan Jindong. Uh, namely, will be his last student. And uh, right afterwards, he, uh, he's going to call it quits uh, after the uh, Rio Olympics. So he is really looking forward to seeing his uh, student, the last student or last player under his uh, influence to do well on big occasions. And Fan Jindong obviously would like to do so as well because last time, last year, in the uh, Paris World Championships, he was the uh, championship team right, member, no. or the champions team member, but he really didn't do in the final. Uh, for him to really do well, especially individually, is a great actually vindication to himself and to team, and to get a chance to uh, be considered as one of the candidates for the uh, Rio Olympics. Oh, no. For Chinese uh, team members, men and women, actually, you can lose to your teammates or teammates, but if one lost to your opponent who is a foreigner, that will be a different story. That will be considered something like a negative points and then down the line, and it might be very difficult to be considered to be on board for the Olympics. So for them, especially like right now, when Fan Jindong is taking up a foreign player, Nikki, then he has to deliver. That's the pressure he's under right now. Koki Niwa, very clever player as well. Something about Koki Niwa's game, I've been watching him play for many years. I think around the age of 14, he became quite famous internationally. And I think it was the 2013 Japan Open highlights. He had two shots, just ridiculous, spinning around. His clever play, his bold play, it almost looks like he's not trying. Very low center of gravity, but he still manages to generate a lot of power and have quick off the bounce play. We've got some drama on the other court here as well. Xu Xin and Fang Guo playing a seven-gamer, and Xu Xin is taped up with ice on his shoulder. That's a medical timeout. Quite something, really, and uh, not a good sign for him, especially that he is going to also be in the uh, mixed doubles finals, teaming up with Young Ha Yun of Korea. And uh, yesterday it was just like a, an action packed day for Xu, and uh, of course, it's a test. Let's just see. We'll keep you posted on that. Xu Xin, yep. actually, the only player with a chance to make a record of three. Treble there in the three uh, gold medals. event, yeah. But on the other hand, physically, it was just so demanding. Yesterday, he was tell telling me afterwards that he was fatigued. He really was exhausted. Now, oh, really, no. that takes his toll now. But as you said back here, Fang Zhendong very much in control, forcing Koki Niwa to play more of a reactionary game. Fang Zhendong uh, very quick over the table. So much wrist on his shots, too, from both sides. A lot of uh, tactics Eight, executed three. right here by Fan. Definitely uh, concurred by his coach. Right now, Fan is really uh, taking a commanding Eight, lead. Five. Huge cushion there. And that is the face and demeanor of Koki Niwa. Just a cool, cold stare. Poker face. Oh, oh, beautiful. Oh, Shot right there to the backhand. Look at how far he is away from the table. He's willing to be far away from the table, and he's never really intimidated in that sense. Look at the launch of the tap there. And now seven game points for Fan Zhendong. Ten, First one four. given away as Koki Niwa fools him with the underspin serve to the middle. Like you said, Fan Zhendong, so much power that even from two steps off the table can finish a point with a forehand or even a backhand for that matter. And last year was really a great year for him to enjoy artists, basically. You know, winning a couple of the uh, tours on the road, giving him a, a lot of confidence to be back to the uh, first lineup of the Chinese men's team. And Liu Guolian and others really uh, look forward to his brilliant performance here. Oh. Heavy yeah, chop attempt. That's a very unusual three, response. Two, Koki Niwa stepping two, way around. The forehand side of the table for a backhand receive, but instead of the modern over the table wristy flip shot, he goes for a side spin chop, and it's 11 5 for Fan Zhendong to take the first game. Game two will be back just after this short break. Stay with us.
、チキータももっと強くなる、バックに来るともっと強くなる、押し越さないといけない、もしくはチキータ、もうちょっとフォアマイクタッチとか、ミドルとか、もう一度散らしてくれる、チキータとか、バックに集まるとか、そう待ってる。Come back for game two. We got some clarification from the good old internet. And it is 2010 was the year that Koki Niwa was the junior champion. Two years before 2012, Ban Jen Dong won as a cadet. Inside out forehand smash way wide. That ball's not coming back. And as a matter of fact, a few years ago, I was with uh, Koki as well in the、uh, Guan、uh, in that junior tournament. He did pretty well until the very last minute in that final. And he、uh, sort of like lost his concentration, and that's probably one of his uh, uh, problems that he needs to overcome. Sometimes you might, you might just all of a sudden, you know, lose it. This is something he told us that、uh, he has to really、uh, take care of. And his opponent, two years junior than him, right now, has been shocking the world with his appearance and doing so well with his solid skills everywhere. Fan Zhendong definitely plays a fearless game. Even when it seems like he's on the defense, he can still attack and get right back into the point. And that right there is a big sign of confidence to me. I love when a player receives a lead service down into the table. You know what I'm talking about?、Yeah. Hit back into your own side for two bounces. Something sort of cool about that. A lot of swag on the、he's、court. He certainly has been showing a lot of the maturity, which doesn't even match his real age. 18 years old. Come on. You know, he was actually the champion. Squad at the age of 17. That's why、uh, many are saying definitely、uh, he's the man to watch、uh, after Chang Ji Ke. Yeah, Fan Zhendong has had. I don't know the way things were going. It looked like he might be world ranked number one right about now or some point. But he's dipped back down a little bit with that shot right there from Koki Niwa right off the bounce. Confidence. And speaking of confidence, Koki Niwa has said. The table tennis is the only thing in his life where he is fully confident. That's his passion, really. Taking the ball very early, right here, smashing it with his left hand. To be expected as a left-handed player. <laughs> Otherwise known as a square hand. That's another thing. Right there, we saw. Despite backing off the table, when Kokini was in a little bit closer, he can spin the ball very well with his backhand, and also punches it sometimes. And while that's not generally as effective as, say, a really spinny shot with a lot of whip to it, really changed the game. With his wrist, giving a lot of friction there, the spin. Yeah, most, you know, most of the、uh, Chinese players at this generation now are. Really、uh, mastering mastering this skill very well.、Uh, after Zhang Jiko, after Ma Long, and they all learn from these、um, brothers they look up to. Right, this is sort of a modern receiver. Right, Ban Zhen Dong. If you see still shots or slow mo shots of him over the table. The racket is actually completely face down to the table, wrist back tucked into the stomach before he snaps through it. Wu Jiping is very、um, pleased with his、uh, progress, playing his students' progress, and、um, dubbing him as the、um, upgraded version, hopefully down the line. Again, a step and a half off the table. Both players confident, but Fan Zhendong, I think, has a little bit more reason to be confident here in this match after not losing a game in two encounters with Koki Niwa. And I was saying before, you know, Fan Zhendong got up to world rank number two, has dipped down to number four right now. It wouldn't surprise me if within the next year or two he is world number one. Well, in many ways, actually, it's been、um, because you know, a bunch of Chinese. <laughs> I mean, for example, like Chen Mengdis Nan from the Chinese women's team,、uh, she was ranked really high within top five at one point. But then again, remember two years ago she won here in Suzhou at women's singles and women's doubles.
And then again, last year, she was a little bit complacent, and the team has decided this time to only give her a chance to play in the mixed, and she teamed up with the uh, French player, uh, Le Bousson, I believe, and then they lost in, in the early rounds. But basically, that's the Chinese way of training you to say, Seven, you eight. can be there, we could let, make you as tough as we perhaps desire in the way. But on the other hand, we let you to do that progress step by step. And that's great. team and their knowledge of sports psychology that a player can only play say two tournaments a year at the absolute highest level they have peak moments which might explain why Mima Ito for example had a clean sweep just amazing playing at the German Open women's Whoa. singles and then the week later in Spain got knocked out relatively early very very early yes the adjacent table uh, is back in action after some treatment but Fan Zhendong right there anticipating, well, right off the bounce, so low and behind Koki Niwa, not even a chance to get the bare hand up to stop that one. And now three game points for Fan Zhendong. Top of the net, but it stays on Fan's side of the table. Niwa now going to have two serves and a chance to tie it up. I really like this young man's uh, speed there, and also the explosiveness, and also willing to uh, getting willing to uh, get engaged and this is really the uh, way that that positive sign for the Chinese squad to choose in other words this is one of the uh, criteria you must have in order to be, uh, in order to be uh, able to stay in this competitive team and he's got all these elements on table and we've talked about confidence Koki Niwa both players confident but that last serve definitely took some guts change of serve against game point and again mm. half long I guess a relatively safe serve, but when you're dealing with Fan Zhendong, you know you're going to get that step around backhand opening attack. Strong combination. The serve before was deep into the backhand to earn the point, and now we're at deuce in game two. Niwa really making this a match. Break off the top of the net, but it goes out. And now Niwa has his first game point this match, a chance to tie it up with the serve. See what sort of cleverness he pulls out here in this crucial moment. Not a bad idea. Deep on the table with some topspin to the backhand side, but the step round was a little bit late. Yeah, a little bit actually. Uh, round with the uh, late with the footwork, turning it around, try to jam it to make it happen. Such a fine balance. You want to leave as early as possible without leaving early enough to let your opponent know that you're going that direction. <laughs> to stay in that point as long as he did was quite impressive. He shows he's comfortable with some defense. Although teammate Jun Mizutani can keep the ball on the table forever from the backcourt, it seems. If you haven't seen the match with Jung Young Shik, check out Jun Mizutani versus Jung Young Shik from last night. Just amazing. Now down game point, Niwa serves. Missed on the backhand opportunity. We do not see too many of those from Fan Zhendong, especially with the medium pace topspin ball coming at him. That is really a trademark shot of here, really. A little bit too long there. And just to clarify, it's, it's hard to call that a medium pace shot, but for the power that we see out there on the table, that was not a clear winner. It was sort of a, a rally shot, something that'll just set up the next ball, maybe keep it in play with some topspin deep. Well retrieval there, a good retrieval. Yeah. And then that rare lobbing down Fan yeah. Jin Dong. I mean, Fan Jin Dong is not especially tall, but he is aggressive and quick. I don't see him lose many points against high balls. Koki Niwa has earned himself another game point. In the second stage of this game, actually, a little bit careless play by Fan. And he's going to creep in. And that is it. Half long serve dangles off the forehand side, and Fan Zhendong has the obstacle of the table, cannot overcome it. Koki Niwa, 14 12 to take game two, and we're tied up at one game each. Match is getting interesting. Stick around for game three.
，另外周瑜他有个发球长的，他长的他就没有关注分，所以一个分。when it's a little bit slow between points here, but we've got an exciting match on our hands as well. Game three, the first two points split from Koki Niwan serves. See if Fong can do any better. This time it works, steps way around the forehand side like we saw earlier in game one. And a heavy drop to some side. On the usual return from him. Coming more usual as Koki Niwa does it two points in a row. This time, Fan Zhendong makes the adjustment. And again, the services are split. Looks like he's sizing him up, figuring out what, to, what he wants to serve here. The confidence that Koki Niwa has to play soft balls like that before stepping around, backing off the table a little bit. You're going to have to believe that despite winning game two from a little bit off the table, Niwa's still going to want to stay close if he can. Maybe the change of pace will be trouble. <laughs> Just missing in the chop block. Unusual stop the shot selection, but that's one of the things that makes Niwa so exciting to watch, is that he's like a box of chocolates. He was really uh, utilizing, uh, taking advantage of uh, Fan's uh, Loss of concentration momentarily in the uh, second game. And now, let's just see if Fan can group himself. Let you know why he's like a box of chocolates, oh, right, Dong? <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. It's a box of chocolates. Oh, no. Some patient play on the backhand court, blocking it, moving it around just a little bit, but Fan Zhendong too strong eventually. Both you and I are glancing over from time to time. Well, you cannot really uh, can't ignore yourself, it. Uh, not paying attention to the other game, which is going on very, very intensively. Oh, but Fan keeps pushing his opponent far away from the table, giving himself a little bit of edge there. things out and he's going to have to see what's working because this game not much is. That's uh, not something that he's going to come back with. It's better if you the uh, second game. Definitely, uh, Fan was leading all the way into the very end with his uh, careless play there. But in this one, in the third game, he certainly uh, completely took the lead there. Just destroyed him 11-2. Fan Zhendong going up two games to one. Game four coming back just after this. Mm -hmm. 
Back for game four, Koki Niwa after winning 14-12 in a very tight game, loses two points to 11 to Fan Zhendong and is now trailing one game to two. Fans starting to get into it more. There are some German flags being waved here in the audience. Got it! And that ball right there, a little bit high, spun up softly from the short side of the table, cross court. Fan Zhendong just staying on top of it. Too much power for Koki Niwa to counter. Third quarter attacking stuff was well executed there. Let's one off. Fan Zhendong with a faint lead service, making sure that the communication was clear. Last two. Trying to change the direction a little bit from Niwa. Oh. It's funny, Fan Zhendong is actually quite shy. Watching the communication is very interesting. Got it! Got it! And over the table, this time to the short side of the table with that ripping flip. So much tuck, so much wrist that we talked about earlier this match. A strong start for Fan Zhendong, similar to last game. Well, he's the youngest player for the Chinese first line. First line that really and uh, looks up to a lot of the big brothers, so to speak, there. And a little bit timid off the court, is still uh, learning quite a bit in this process, coy, you may say. But on the other hand, when he is on court, boy, it's a different story. Goy! I'm very well. curious to see how the creativity in the game, I mean, Xu Xin, in my opinion, the most creative player of the top line of Chinese men's national team players. Fan Zhendong, maybe the most aggressive. Um, we'll see how creativity enters his game a little bit more with the years. Bloody! Or if it's even a, a road he wants to take. I mean, it's working out pretty well for him right now, being so so aggressive on both sides. Well, the Chinese man, Steve Spatone, eventually will be on, you know, will be uh, passed on t to him and also in his hands. I guess uh, he knows this actually is going to shoulder a lot of responsibilities. I think, you know, from his coach, Wu Jinping, One, he needs to still build around his... Uh, all around uh, tactics and way to deal with the extreme, so to speak. And uh, that's why they are sending him all over to uh, experience a lot of the uh, big things, including last year's Paris uh, World Championships of World Team events. And that's a great demonstration right there of world-class play against top world-class players like Koki Niwa. The inside-out forehand from down at table level Creative chop block from Koki Niwa followed up with a big attack that goes out. Wu Jingping right there on screen, a legend from table tennis in China. I mean, what an illustrious career. We've seen him in videos from versus Waldner to everyone, including Fan Zhendong now in modern play. Well, as a player he himself, who was not really tremendously successful. However, you know, he actually came from Sichuan, and uh, he thought that the last year he would just call it quits after the London games. And then again, the, uh, the team said they needed him so Two, much. Nine. So he decided to uh, uh, get on board again. And they, uh, they said, we have a pleasant surprise for you. You might be considered your last student before your retirement. And he wondered who that might be. And, uh, and he said, oh! unbelievable two bounces. I'm sorry to cut you off in the story, but that ball rolled on the table after a chop block. That's the sense of his uh, you know, skill there. Look at that. Unbelievably low, really tough to tell. Looked like it bounced twice, maybe in slow-mo up close. And that is a difficult shot, very wide, so quick to get there. But Niwa basically, uh, you know, has given up this game here. And while that is his demeanor, even when he's in the lead, the given up style of an 11-2 really, uh, victory, two games in a row for Fan Zhendong. The Japanese really has just to uh, regroup himself um, in the next game. Now I was about to say to wrap up the story that uh, uh, Wu Jinping was very surprised to uh, 
be given this talented young man, and he tested him out. He said, okay, I would take him as my last student. So Fan Zhendong is so far really living up to uh, his uh, expectation. And of course, he'd like to uh, make his friends felt impossible and the uh, free of him. And that's their goal, of the, uh, the goal of their, you know, moves and also the goal of uh, Fan Zhendong. So that's why now you see that uh, Xu Xin is now, Xu Xin wants to do the same thing, but uh, unfortunately he's injured. So this is going to be quite interesting to see Fan, how far Fan can go in this tournament. Feels like a little bit faster break than usual. Would say back to join you for the fifth game. It feels like we never really left. Fan Zhendong. Very much still in control. He's won 26 out of the last 28 points and possibly even more. Yeah. And then a, again, a quick star here for Juan. And on a positive side, he's just too fast. It's just really explosive here. Free love. And while I don't know if anyone's actually going to go back and count and test me, I realize that I might have been off by two I'm points there. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving yourself away here. I just saying, count. honestly, I didn't count. I know that he, he's been winning, you know, lately, uh, so many points there. And uh, Niwa definitely is sort of like a, if you will, dejected and distraught quite a bit here. Well, understandable. I mean, 11 2, 11 2. You look at that. I mean, two out of 13 points in two games. You got four out of 26 in the last two games total. And then. 0-3 here in the start. I mean, yeah, even in his second game, actually, he was down quite a bit, and Fan Zhendong was kind of like careless to give away points. So uh, that really let the Japanese come back quickly. And then you can see the other three games, it was totally, they were totally one-sided. Yeah, and if we, if we look back and try to remember the points, the more memorable points that Koki Niwa has won, what it was that caused them, and usually it's been funkiness. It's been creative shots, that backhand receive, the step around chop. He can do that with different placement, maybe. Wow, oh, look at that. The over the table flip is like throwing an ice cube at the sun right now with any intention. I mean, there's some top spin on it, and it's not a bad receive, but for Fang Jindong's level, it's just. It's feeding a rabbit and to the he lions. And was expecting that shot to come back and for him to have this kind of backhand flick. Love five. The five already. Unbelievable. Niwa was really, uh, is really very distraught right now. Five there we five. go. He goes in 100% on the step round with the cross sport. Has to go big to earn the point. Has to play the risky shots. He's got nothing to lose now at this stage. And it's one of those things where when you're playing someone that's a full head above your level, if you play your average game, you play safe, at best, you're still going to lose. So you have to play high-risk shots and hope that you can make a higher percentage than usual of some low-percentage risky shots. And then to uh, really, so to speak, intimidate your opponents, if you can, or if you will, and maybe things or the tide could change a little bit. Right, the psychological advantage out here. That's Smart play. Yep. No telling where he's going to go until the last moment. Sort of waits on it, and then while it's over the table. Straight down on the table, right there. It looked like he might have been going to middle or even cross court until he contacted it. And Fun didn't really cover that area very well. Trying to reach out, but too late. <laughs> and look at the return you know, Fun created in a way. It's so positive, staying so close to the table to take an upper hand. Body language from the Japanese is not a positive sign there. Seven, three. Again, Fan Zhendong with that wrist. He's quick to get into the table, tries not to get too far in general. Despite his nickname, Little Chubby, Xiao Pang, he is fast on his feet. I think Seven, four. Is, uh, the way he wants to keep himself as such is that he feels that this is the way with this kind of weight to uh, generate power and the especially with his forehand smash and he needs this kind of a weight there and he feels that he says that I will keep myself in good shape and good form <laughs> that's course, awesome seven. but comparing to others especially yeah. his teammates you know you might think that he's a little bit chubby that's why they got this uh, nickname for him Xiaopang or little chubby 
Right, if you look at his quads, I mean, if we, if we made a ratio chart of quad to chest size, <laughs> quad to upper body, Fan Zhendong is well in fine condition. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think his frame is just a little stocky, but I mean, he's definitely in good shape. Six, seven. A little bit late there with the uh, forehand. Top spin. Still leading though by one point here. It's a crazy turnaround. I mean, the timeout didn't seem to go well for the first few points out of the timeout. I believe it was 5-0 just a moment ago, and now Niwa in its 6-7. Mistimed on that spin shot deep on the table. Really yeah. snapped through for a powerful backhand, but no connection was made at all. He tends to push the ball to the deep end of the table. Push right there with his backhand. Niwa, you know, Niwa is quick enough, but just sort of like this second behind him. I think that has a lot to do with who's on the other side of the table. Fan Zhendong so fast and also unpredictable. Even falling to the ground off balance, you can't tell where he's going to go. He could have turned the wrist and gone inside out cross court to the forehand, plays it to the shorter side of the table on the backhand. And while Niwa was chasing, he's now chasing just a chance to stay in this. There are four match points for Fan Zhendong on the receive. Ripping backhand from over the table. Bit of extra power there and also some side spin as he comes around it, breaking it out wide to the forehand side. Now the timeout is called Wu Jinping. Yeah, he needs to really uh, just ask his player to stay focused and to close up nicely. It's funny, I mean, sometimes the most simple advice, something that even a parent could say to a child in supporting from the crowd, is what the most expert coaches in the world need to say. You know, sometimes really you just need to uh, pause a little bit to regroup yourself and then start again in a sense. Time. And also by doing so, the opponent's tempo could be broken. And that's what Liu Guilang did with the uh, game just now. In a, remember, against Zhu Seho, Liu Guilang caught a very, very timely timeout that's for right. Ma Long. And afterwards, boy, four points in a row. Ma Long just wrapped up very nicely in style. Did you catch any of the Chinese just there on the timeout? Seven, ten. Uh, I was talking to you, I guess. <laughs> uh, much better, much better. Inside out ten, backhand eight. from over the table and knee over the bold step around into the body. And again, fearless play on the attempt from Fan Zhendong to counter it out to the open court. Two match points saved by uh, Niwa. And then Fan Zhendong has got two serves to come. A little bit out in front, Niwa changing the placement on the table. A little bit more spin, a little bit more shallow shot. And Fan Zhendong seemed planted in the back right there on the backhand side, leaps out trying to cover the ball while it was way out in front. Now it's a one-point game. <laughs> Touch shot, the push goes long, but it's the big ripping forehand. Cross court of Fan Zhendong again. Little chubby, four games to one. Over well, Koki Niwa, what a performance from the 18-year-old from China. Well calculated with that point there, and really with good anticipation, typical third-ball attack.